This is the TV44 High School Whiz Quiz with your host, Dancy Moeller. Hi, everybody, and Happy New Year to all of you watching at home. It is a brand new year and a brand new season for us here at TV44 for the Whiz Quiz. We have 16 teams who will be competing for the title this year. You're going to see four of the first. And at the first show, you're going to see Ada take on Patrick Henry. And a little bit later, Elmwood will face off against Minster. We want to introduce you to the players joining us now from Patrick Henry. We have Adam Hammond, Chase Grimm, Sydney Roars, and Lee Hograve. And Patrick Henry is coached by Rick Fricky. Welcome to all of you. All right, turning now to Ada. Playing for Ada is Hunter Wells, Theo Hardesty, Nathan Hertig, and Isaac Spar. Ada is coached by Dave Lusk. All right, everybody, I know this is the first show, but um, try to relax and enjoy this. We want to make sure that the buzzers are all ready to go and that when you do buzz in, please speak up as loudly as you can. All right, we've got people at home who are watching and playing along with you, and they want to make sure their answers are correct as well. Um, and also make your answers as complete as possible. Okay? All right, here we go. This first round, 10 questions worth 10 points apiece. Everybody ready? Okay. Give the word for a prophetic revelation, especially one depicting the ultimate triumph of good and the destruction of evil. Yes, that would be Ada. A revelation? Revelation is incorrect. So that means, Patrick Henry, you can try this. Time is up. The answer is apocalypse. All right, moving on now to question number two in our first round. Which gas present in the surrounding clouds of Neptune appears as an aqua blue color? Yes, that would be Ada. Methane? Methane is correct. Which literary character follows a white rabbit underground? Yes, that would be Ada. Alice. Alice is the correct answer. Okay, moving on now to question number four. In 1945, what was added to water in the United States to help prevent cavities? Yes, Ada. Fluorine. That is incorrect. Patrick Henry, do you want to try it? Yes. Calcium? Calcium is also incorrect. What we're looking for here is fluoride. All right, question five in this first round. What is the general name for meat that comes from sheep? Yes, Ada. Mutton. Mutton is the correct answer. What part of the human tongue distinguishes sweet, sour, salty, and bitter? Yes, Patrick Henry. Taste buds? Taste buds is the correct answer. Number seven, name the pine tree state which joined the union as a free state under the Missouri Compromise of 18, yes, Patrick Henry. Maine. Maine is the right answer there. Which word beginning with the letter C means mercy toward an offender? Team's time is up. The answer is clemency. All right, moving on now. You have two questions remaining in your first round. Of red, white, blue, or yellow stars, which ones are the hottest? Yes, Ada? White. White is incorrect. Patrick Henry? Yes. Blue. Blue is the correct answer. Okay, here is your final question in this first round. Name the term commonly applied to almost any large, unfamiliar species of ground-dwelling spider. Yes, Ada. Tarantula. Tarantula is the correct answer. All right, we've come to the end of our first round, and here is our score right now in our very first game of 2020. Patrick Henry, you have 30 points. Ada with 40. We'll be back with the second and third rounds right after the break. Don't go away.
Tonight's Wiz Quiz Contests are brought to you by Hupy Hamburgers, the taste of Lima since 1928. And by the Tom All family of dealerships, Chrysler, Buick, Dodge, and Hyundai, the home of the Knock Your Socks Off deal. All right, welcome back everyone. This is the very first show of the new year and here is our score right now between our two teams. We have Patrick Henry with 30 points, Ada High School with 40. That means Ada, you're going to lead the second round. You have five questions. They are all yours worth five points apiece, but please still bu buzz in with your answers, okay? All right, question number one. Identify the Roman emperor who murdered his mother and began the first persecutions of Christians. Yes. Caligula. Caligula is incorrect. It's Nero. All right, moving on to question number two. What was the first country in space? Yes. The Soviet Union. We will accept that. That is correct. All right, moving on to number three. Which term designates the period in American history following the Civil War from about 1865 to 1877? Yes, Ada. Reconstruction. Reconstruction is the answer there. All right, number four. Which root vegetables are a particularly good source of beta carotene, fiber, Vitamin K1, potassium, and antioxidants. Beet. Yes. Beet. Beet is incorrect. The answer we're looking for is carrots. All right, final question in the second round. What does the white dove symbolize? Peace, peace. Yes. Peace. Peace is the correct answer. All right. Patrick Henry, your turn now with your five questions. Everybody ready? And again, please buzz in. In relation to a large company, what does the title CFO stand for? Okay, time is up. The answer is Chief Financial Officer. Okay, which U.S. president is known to have ended World War II by dropping the atomic bombs? Yes, Patrick Henry. Harry Truman. Harry Truman is correct. What is the country with the largest population? Yes. China. China is correct. Okay, you have two questions remaining. Name the orange and black insects that every March depart from their winter home in Mexico to head to breeding grounds across the United States. Monarch yes. butterflies. Monarch butterflies is the answer. Okay, your final question here in round two. What element, which is a gas in its uncombined state, is the most abundant element in the Earth's crust? Yes. Nitrogen. Nitrogen is incorrect. It is oxygen. Okay, we've come to the end of round two now, and it is still a close race. We have Patrick Henry with 45 points, Ada with 55. We're moving into our third and final round. Again, 10 questions were 10 points apiece, and everybody get the buzzers ready. Name the baseball defensive play that results in two outs. Yes. Double Patrick play. Henry. Double play. Double play is correct. Question number two. Identify the Earth's largest continent. Yes, Ada. Asia. Asia is the answer. Identify the 26th U.S. president who took office upon the death of William McKinley. Yes, Ada. Theodore Roosevelt. Theodore Roosevelt is the correct answer. All right, question number four. Identify the country that Haiti shares a land border with. Yes, that would be Patrick Henry. Dominican Republic. Dominican Republic is the correct answer. Number five. Name the term that identifies the system of institutionalized racial segregation that existed in South Africa. Yes, that would be Ada. Apartheid. Apartheid is the answer. 
All right, moving on now to question number six. By what name is the second full moon in a month known? Yes, that would be Patrick Henry. Blue moon. Blue moon is correct. In Longfellow's Paul Revere's Ride, in which year did Paul Revere make his famous ride? Yes, Patrick Henry. 1776. That is incorrect. Ada, you want to try it? Yes. 1775. That is the answer we're looking for, 1775. Okay, teams, we have three questions remaining in your game. The score right now, Patrick Henry, you have 75 points. Ada, 95. What is the practice of taking someone else's work or ideas and passing them off? Yes, Patrick Henry. Plagiarism. Plagiarism is the correct answer. Question number nine. What is the largest country in South America? Ada. Brazil. Brazil is correct. And your final question in your game. Which metallic element is found in baking soda? Yes, Ada. Sodium. Sodium is correct. All right, we have come to the end of a tough first game here on TV44's Wiz Quiz, and here is the score. Patrick Henry, 85 points. Ada, congratulations, you'll be moving on with 115 points. All right, we'll be back with another game right after the break. Stay right there. Tonight's Wiz Quiz contests are brought to you by QP Hamburgers, the taste of Lima since 1928. And by the Tom All family of dealerships, Chrysler, Buick, Dodge, and Hyundai, the home of the knock your socks off deal. All right, well, we just wrapped up the very first game of the new year, and it was between Patrick Henry and Ada. It was a good game, but Ada came out the winner there, so they will take on the winner of this game, just about set to go between Minster and Elmwood High Schools. We're going to introduce you to our players now, joining us from Elmwood. We have Dylan Gein, Thaddeus Hopkins Fawcett, Kaylee Kingery, and Carson Palmer. And Elmwood is, host, is coached by Hope Hopkins Fawcett. Welcome to all of you. All right, turning now to Minster. We have Elena Albers playing. Alex Huker, Casey Blanco, and Ethan Lemkul. And Minster is coached by Marianne Bruns. Welcome to all of you. All right, teams, we have 10 questions in this first round. They're all worth 10 points apiece. We're going to make sure we get those buzzers ready, right? And speak up as loudly as you can. I know it might seem uncomfortable, but we have people watching at home that want to hear your answers and make them as complete as possible. Then we're going to move into round two, and then we can breathe a little and take a break, okay? All right, here we go. Question number one. Who was the first female Prime Minister of the United Kingdom? Yes, that would be Elmwood. Margaret Thatcher. Margaret Thatcher is correct. Name the largest organ of the human body. Yes, Elmwood. The dermis. Yes, we will accept that as the answer. Skin is the most common word. All right, question number three. <laughs> What word designates a large, imposing tomb or a building housing several tombs? Yes, Elmwood. Mausoleum. Mausoleum is correct. Identify the ninth U.S. president nicknamed Old Tippecanoe. Elmwood. William Henry Harrison. That is correct, William Henry Harrison. All right, question number five in this first round. Name the long, narrow South American country whose capital, yes, that would be Minster. Chile. Chile is correct. All right, question number six. Identify the American author whose story the black cat tells about a cat put in the wall of a building. No idea. Time is up. Of course it is Edgar Allan Poe. 
All right. <laughs> Question number seven. The second part of George Frederick Handel's Messiah ends with which famous chorus? Yes, Elmwood. Hallelujah. Hallelujah is correct. Okay, we have three questions remaining in this first round. Which word designates both a group of gorillas and a group of musicians? Yes, Elmwood. A band. Band is the answer. Identify the oldest public building in Washington, D.C., whose cornerstone was laid in 1792. Yes, Minster. The post office. That is incorrect. Elmwood, do you want to try it? Yes. The Capitol? Capitol is also incorrect. The White House is the answer we're looking for. Okay. All right. Last question in this first round. Name the country whose capital is Seoul. Yes, Minster. South Korea. South Korea is the answer. Okay. We've gotten through round one. Here's the score. Minster, you have 20 points. Elmwood with 60. That means, Elmwood, you're going to lead the second round with five questions worth five points apiece. They are all yours, but please buzz in with your answer. Name the New Jersey-born president known as the Buffalo Hangman. He was both the 22nd and the 24th president. Yes. Grover Cleveland. Grover Cleveland is correct. Over which line of latitude does the sun lie at the vernal equinox? No answer there. Time is up. The answer is the equator. All right, question three in the second round. Name three of the six noble gases listed on the periodic table of elements. Yes. Neon, argon, and krypton. You are correct. So out of those, um, we had helium, neon, argon, krypton, xenon, and radon. All right, question four. Which city in Italy has sunk more than two feet into the lagoon since 1727? Yes. Venice. Venice is correct. And you have one more question remaining in this round. What was the time of great economic crisis during the 1930s? Yes. The Great Depression. The Great Depression is correct. Okay. Minster, your turn. Everybody set over here? Yep. Okay. What word is used to describe the later years of one's life and a 50th anniversary? Yes. The golden years? Golden is correct. Which state borders Michigan, Kentucky, Indiana, West Virginia, and Pennsylvania? Yes. Ohio. Ohio is the answer. All right, question three in the second round. Who killed President John Kennedy? Yes. Lee Harvey Oswald. Lee Harvey Oswald is correct. Okay, you have two questions remaining in the second round. What is the atomic symbol for lithium? Yes. L-I. L-I is right. And your final question in the second round. Identify the former president who has an aircraft carrier named for him in honor of his role as a Navy torpedo bomber pilot during World War II. Dwight Eisenhower. That is incorrect. The answer is George H.W. Bush. All right, we've come to the end of our first two rounds here between Elmwood and Minster. Here is our score. Minster, you made a move. You've got 40 points. Elmwood with 80. We'll be back with the final round after the break. Stay right there. Tonight's Wiz Quiz Contests are brought to you by QP Hamburgers, the taste of Lima since 1928. And by the Tom All family of dealerships, Chrysler, Buick, Dodge, and Hyundai, the home of the knock your socks off deal.
right, welcome back. We are moving into our third and final round in competition between Minster and Elmwood High School. We're doing really well so far, teams. Our score right now, Minster with 40 points, Elmwood with 80. I want to also mention, and I want to thank Mark Dickman for returning this season. He is our judge, and if we have any questions about your answers, we will refer to him, okay? But so far, so good. So let's get into our first question here in this third and final round. Again, these are all worth 10 points apiece. Which term beginning with the letter M specifically designates a piece of a comet orbiting the sun? Yes, that would be, yep, your light's on, Elmwood? Meteor. I'm sorry? A meteor. That is incorrect. Minster, you wanna try it? Meteor, right? That is also incorrect. The answer here is meteoroid. Oh. Okay, question two. Who was the first president to live in the White House after it was burned down by the British and rebuilt? Yes, that would be Minster. Thomas Jefferson. Thomas Jefferson is incorrect. So we have a chance over here, Elmwood. Adams. Adams also incorrect. The answer is James Monroe. All right, number three. Which explorer was searching for the fountain of youth? Yes, Minster. Magellan. Magellan is incorrect, so Elmwood, you've got a chance. Ponce de Leon. Yeah. Ponce de Leon is very good. All right, moving on now, question number four. Mycology is the branch of biology that is concerned with the study of what? Yes, Elmwood. Microorganisms. That is incorrect. Minster, you wanna try? Bacteria. Also incorrect, we're looking at fungi or mold. All right, number five. Name the specific part of the body where red blood cells are produced. Yes, that would be Minster. Bone marrow. Bone marrow is correct. All right, moving on now, question number six. Name the branch of science that studies matter and its motion, as well as, yes, that would be Elmwood. Physics. Physics is correct. What is formed when a giant star explodes at the end of its life cycle? Yes, that would be Minster. Black hole. Black hole is correct. Okay, teams, we have three questions remaining in your game, and here is the score. Elmwood, you have 100 points. Minster with 60. What are the five traditional senses? Yes, that would be Minster. Sight. Smell, taste, hear, touch. We will accept that as correct. Sight, sound, taste, touch, and smell. According to the 22nd Amendment, how many terms may a U.S. president? Yes, that would be Minster. Two. Two terms is the answer. And we have a final question here for you. What river runs through Baghdad? Yes, Minster? The Yangtazi River. That is incorrect. Elma, do you want to try? Euphrates. That is also incorrect. Tigris is what we're looking for. All right, it was a well-played game between Elmwood and Minster. Minster, you really came along here at the very end. Still not enough, though. You came up with 80 points. Elmwood with 100, so congratulations. You'll be moving on in competition. Minster, thanks for joining us again this year. Thank you for playing along and watching at home. We'll see you back here next week. Until then, everyone, bye-bye.